a tool to read XML and push your patches and extensible modules to your deployed solutions? That's what we're going to chat about in this video covering the Solutions Upgrade tool, a powerful utility to help you manage the versions of those smart, modern app you're creating that your clients demand. Please note, however, the Solution Upgrade tool will be released as preview software and is subject to change. Our hope was to get this tool in your hands as quickly as possible and then collaborate with you as we watch this tool mature and grow. The Solution Upgrade tool is strictly a command line tool that leverages XML files and it's meant to quickly apply patches or quickly address urgent or critical fixes in your deployment. If you're selling a solution, this could also be used as a great opportunity to offer and apply paid extensible modular components to your solutions. It's also important to note that the Solution Upgrade tool does not resolve any data issues between the source and target files. It only adds schema changes. So when more complex updates are required, use the FileMaker data migration tool. Now, which versions of FileMaker are compatible? The Solution Upgrade tool is compatible with FileMaker 19, and this is mainly due to the changes in grammar that we've made to XML. And it's also meant for on-premise FileMaker server deployments only. So to clarify, you cannot use this with FileMaker Cloud, and you can only choose to update FileMaker server files that are either closed, backups, or copies. So what does the process look like? Well, it first starts with two FileMaker apps. The first app represents our app in production. This is the app that we want to push offline fixes to. And in this scenario, we're calling it our version one or V1 app. The second FileMaker app is an offline app that has all the modifications and features we want to distribute. We'll call that our version two or V2 app. Next, we'll need to make sure that we create and add a new extended privilege called FM upgrade in both of the files. We will then create an XML file that represents all of the changes that we've made in the v2 app and this is what we call the patch file in the process. Finally, we'll use the solution upgrade tool and some command line commands to push all of those changes we've made to our v1 file. Now let's spend a moment to focus on the XML patch file. And first, let me take a step back as you're likely aware, Claris has dedicated many, many resources in being able to represent FileMaker apps as XML to help move solutions forward, as well as move toward faster, snappier development with modular components. You saw this with add-on tables a few versions back. You're seeing it with the add-on tables in this release. So the solution upgrade tool is just another example of how we're leaning into that XML to help you better deliver your modern apps. Now, back to XML as it relates to this feature. Do we really have to manually create an XML file? Doesn't FileMaker already have a DDR report we could use or even the save as XML script step that we could employ? Well, it's true that both of those features can be used to output the app as XML. However, those methods produce an XML file that is not immediately compatible, mainly because the XML grammar differences that the solution upgrade tool supports. So if you use something like the save as XML file, you're gonna to have to modify it before it can be used with the solution upgrade tool. There are three supported actions you would specify within the XML file. The first is the add action, which you could use to add fields or portals or maybe even a tab control to your solution. Although some things like saved finds or certain formatting options for layout objects may not be supported. There's also a delete action if you want to remove some objects from your solution, and then a replace action that you would use if maybe, let's say you wanted to change the name of a field. Once your patch file is prepared, how do you deploy the changes? Well, as we discussed, the solution upgrade tool is a command line tool, so you'll need to be familiar with how the commands are structured. Let's take a look at an example. Start with a path to the upgrade tool you've downloaded. There's then a list of eight subcommands that you can choose from. For example, you could choose to encrypt or decrypt your patch file, or you can simply tell FileMaker to update your v1 file. If you've used the data migration tool before, 
you may be familiar with some of the extra options, such as verbose mode, which provides additional information about the update once the process is complete. Now let's take a look at the subcommands that you can use. Choose the update command to update your FileMaker profile based on the patch file. The validate patch command can verify whether you have a valid XML file that can be used with the solution upgrade tool. Choose to encrypt or decrypt your patch file with the encrypt patch or decrypt patch commands. Use the generate GUIDs or regenerate GUID commands to ensure the objects in your files have unique IDs. These IDs are important as internal references for objects in the patch file. As noted, if you've used the data migration tool before, you may be familiar with some of these extra commands like quiet mode or verbose mode, which gives you additional information after the process is complete. The force and in place options affect the resulting modified FileMaker app. For example, every time you update a FileMaker app with this tool, a copy of the source file is created with the changes that you specified. Use the in place option to incorporate changes directly into the file you are specifying and not a copy. Note, if you have this enabled, it will override any destination paths you may have specified in the subcommands. So this is a good option for deployments where full backup copies are made before major changes, and maybe you don't want to add another copy of a larger file. And then use the force option when you are creating a copy where a previous copy exists. The force option will override any errors that a file already exists and will overwrite that previous file. We'll now take a look at the solution upgrade tool in action. As we mentioned, the upgrade process only works on closed FileMaker server apps, backups, or copies. On my desktop, you see that I have a few contact files. So let's imagine that middle file is a copy of my production file, and the top file in that list is the master file where I'll be tinkering and creating updates that I want to distribute. Both of the files already have the FileMaker upgrade privilege set enabled, so they're ready to go. I'm now going to log into my master file where we'll quickly add three fields. Now that we've made changes, let's save a copy as XML. Now we don't have to necessarily do this next step since our example is quite simple. We'll also log into that copy of our context production file and we'll save a copy as XML as well. The implication here is that we could then compare the two files for differences parse out the appropriate information, and use that as the building block for my patch file. Now let's take a look at my patch file based off of the Master Contacts app. As we talked about, I'm not going to be able to immediately use this XML output file because some manual configuration is going to be required. For example, the tag FM Save as XML needs to be changed to FM Upgrade Tool Patch, or it's not going to work. So I've now spent some time in the file until it held only what I needed, which were the three fields. Any other information might affect objects or accounts or privileges that I don't want to modify. Now that the patch file is ready, let's open up Terminal. Here I'll drag the Solutions Upgrade tool to capture its path. Next we'll specify a subcommand. Again, I could encrypt it if I wanted. Before creating the XML files, I could have run the generate GUIDs command to make sure that every object had an ID. But in this scenario, we're just gonna go ahead and use the update command. So let's add some additional information like the user and password, as well as the path to the patch file. So let's run the command. And perfect, it was successful. You can now see there's a fourth file on my desktop this was the copy that was created. Again, I didn't use the in place option, so a copy was created. Let's open up that file, which now has the suffix upgraded. We can now see the three fields inside, just like we expected. 
As we move toward a modular universe where problem solvers are sharing and developing reusable code, a resource like the Solution Upgrade tool can play a massive part in terms of how you're deploying and delivering your modern apps. But even today, at the start of this feature's evolution, I hope you're as excited as I am for the new opportunities to develop and sell your solutions, to manage versions more efficiently, and to provide faster response times when critical and urgent matters arise.